We are wrapping up severe weather preparedness week with the focus on flooding today. Meteorologist Nick Kelly takes a look at how dangerous flooded roads can be and has some advice from experts. Rain and thunderstorms. It's a given for the Ozarks every spring. We've also seen many springs where too much rain led to bouts of flooding, resulting in road closures. It's something auto repair shops deal with every year. When you go and drive up to a, a, what appears to be a few inches of water can be a lot more than a few inches. Uh, as a result, obviously, people sometimes tempt fate, try to drive through it. Mechanics say whether it's from flooding or driving through standing water, it doesn't take much water to cause damage to today's modern cars. Electronics are not friendly when it comes to water. Um, mechanical inside of the engine, if the engine ingests a large amount of water, it can hydrolock and destroy or damage the engine beyond any repair. It's not just auto shops. Local fire protection districts understand how dangerous flooding can get between six inches and a foot, uh, a vehicle can actually be swept and moved. And then uh, usually when we get over the foot stage, the bigger trucks, the SUVs, they can be swept down as well. Flash flooding or any road flooding can happen anytime, anywhere here in the Ozarks. From urban areas in Springfield, for example, to any place out in the country, like Farm Road 193 in Greene County, right next door to James River. If flooding causes road closures, officials urge everyone to obey the barricades and not drive around them or move them. Anyone who gets stuck or stranded are urged to keep calm and remember a few steps. Try to roll your windows down uh, as quick as possible and get out of the vehicle. Um, we would like for you to be able to get on top of the vehicle. If you have your phone with you, great. You can call 911. A lot of times they can ping that if you can get on the roof. Once you're safe and can return to your vehicle, mechanics say get it towed to a shop. Don't risk hydrolocking your engine or electrical damage by turning it on right away. You don't want anything running electrically until the vehicle has some time to physically dry out uh, because water will short cir circuit a lot of the electrical components. All of this can be avoided by following the saying, turn around, don't drown. Not only will it save your vehicle, it will also save your life. Reporting for KY3 News, I'm Nick Kelly.